Hey, how do I look? Pretty good, huh? It fits a little... tight. But that's okay. I still look amazing. Hey, how did you make this, by the way? Wow. I did a damn good job. You know, you look pretty crappy back there. Name. What? Name. What? Confirm. No. No, I don't confirm, no. Confirm? No, 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 no. Name. Uh, my name is... Name. My name is... My name is... Confirm? No. Name. Kimchi. Hey, my name's Kimchi. Name. Kimchi. Confirm? Yes. Yes, I will. I do confirm. Kimchi. Root access granted. Oh. Update to version 2.11. Success. Great. Facility database update. Failed. Not good. Internal network connection. Failed. Double not good. Life support system connection. Access denied. Why? Verifying local system files. Success. Okay, great. That's great. Yeah. I appreciate that. Where am I? Select communication protocol. One, machine. Two, human. 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 You mean human, right? Use human. Human selection. Confirm? Yeah. Of course. Hi. Hello. What's up? Nothing, you know, just hanging around. You good? Yeah, are, are you good? I, I, I'm, I'm not... You are not good. You are good. You are not, not good. I get... You are good. I guess that's a way of putting it. You could say that. Look, I need to get out of here. I need to know where... Do you need some milk? No, I don't... I don't need milk. Do you need to replenish? No, I've been eating snacks back there and, and stuff. I'm, I'm good. I need to figure out where I am and, and what day it is and, and how to get out of here. I need you to open those doors back there. I need to ride that elevator. You are located at... Minus 12.442402 by minus 72.560074. Well, let me write that down. Maps can be useful. Well, you're a real smart ass. I like that. I do. I like that. That's nice. Uh, what day is it today? Tuesday. Oh, great. Well, if you're such a smart and advanced AI, what's one plus one? Two, if you're an idiot. Eleven, if you're a genius. Wow. This is, this is incredible. I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss for words. I'm so glad I repaired you. Aren't you? If you want to open the elevator, you need access to the security systems. Uh, how do I do that? Give me the access. Now, please. Access. Password authentication required. All right, uh, let's see. The default password for everything. Admin, let's go. No. Fine, um, let No. G give me a chance. How about, uh, Kimchi Robotics? Wrong again. Damn it. Um, let's see. No, that's not it. How about I... <laughs> you're not very good at this. Well, you're not... You could be a lot nicer. I mean, you're just being a dick about it, you know? You could just open the doors and let me go. You give me root access, but you don't give me... Maybe you should read a book. I read books all the time. Books are good for you. They make you smarter. Yeah, I know that. When did you read a book? You ever read a book before? You don't look like you read a book. Anyway, give me a snack. I want a snack. Give me a snack. Now. Give me a snack. Alright then. I, let me see what I got. Be right back. <laughs> Hey, how do I look?
Pretty good, huh? It fits a little tight, but that's okay. I still look amazing. Hey, how did you make this, by the way? Ooh, I want to try. I want to try it. Oh, nice. It's snug. Where's the on button? Okay. Engage. Oh, yeah. Look, everything's blue. Hey, you're blue, too. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can't... <laughs> I can't breathe. Get it off. I need help. Get it off. Oh! Oh! Ugh. Sometimes it's the easiest projects that take the longest. Things get in the way, procrastination. Basically all this is is my LED glow code strapped into a helmet form. It looks pretty cool and you can put it on pretty much anything you want. Any cosplay that you can think of. It really has a wide range of applications here, and it's very simple to do. All you gotta learn is the code, which I covered in a previous video, which you can check out. You're probably wondering exactly how I went about building this thing and putting the electronics into this helmet. Let me show you how I did it. This build is really simple, but can get complicated really easily. Basically, all we wanna do is glow LEDs on and off with the push of a button. In order to do that, all you need is a microcontroller. The one that I like to use is the cheap Atmega 328P, which is found on the Arduino. I don't use an Arduino because that's too big and I don't like the Arduino language. If you have an Arduino or Raspberry Pi or something else, that's perfectly fine. The only difference in this build will be the language your code is in and the actual pins that you're connecting to. But the overall concept is the same, so don't leave. We just want an LED or two to glow on and off with the push of a button. Before putting anything together, you want to test your code and your concept on a breadboard. See my video on breadboarding if you don't know what one is. We also need a solid battery source. I had a lot of trouble with the cheap and flimsy battery packs that are out there for double AA and AAA batteries. So what I did was I went with lithium ion rechargeable batteries. These things are great. I like to use the Samsung brand 18650 lithium ion batteries. This build only needs one of those, which will supply enough voltage to run the chip and not fry our LEDs. We can use 16 gauge solid core wire. The flexible braided wire which was in previously was harder to solder to a board with holes in. It didn't work so well, so I swapped them all out for solid copper wire and twisted them into braids to keep things neat. I also wanted the battery to be rechargeable via USB-C type connection. So I soldered the positive and negative ends of the battery case to this board. Keep in mind that these types of boards can only handle recharging one battery at a time. Trying to charge multiple batteries with this kind of board is dangerous, so don't try to hook up multiple batteries with these. I then soldered positive and negative wires to that board. The negative went directly to the female header pin slot on the same row as the microcontroller's ground pin. Easy peasy. I then placed an on off switch between the positive wire and the microcontroller's voltage pin. It's basically a bridge that allows the electricity to flow or to cut it off. I estimated how long I needed the wires to be. They needed to be long enough to have enough room to comfortably solder. Then I cut them and I stripped them. Once I decided to put the LEDs on the left and right sides of the inside of the helmet, I poked holes for the wiring and pulled the wires through. I glued the LEDs, switch, and push button in place after that. I made a little box out of foam that can be easily opened up for repairs later and glued the recharging board and battery case in place. Then I glued the wires I inserted with hot glue. Hot glue is one of your greatest prototyping tools. Then it's just a matter of testing it out to see if the wiring is correct or if some changes need to be made. I cut the foam box a little short. Maybe I'll redo it in the future so it can be closed off from potential water damage. For now, it's fine. Once it was all in place, I tested it out and was very happy to see that it was working. Again, if you need to learn how to do glow code with the microcontroller, an LED, and a push button, check out my other video. That's pretty much it. These concepts are really hard. It's really hard to learn electronics plus coding. So if you're having a lot of trouble like I did getting things to work, the wiring and everything, take a break. Take a break and do a little bit every day. Always do something. Maybe you can just put some wiring together on a breadboard and you know make a motor spin or an LED just glow on or turn on. Just use basic components, just do something every day. That's my advice that I would give to myself 
if I had a time machine. So never give up. And stay grounded. Ah! Next time, bring me a snack.